So recently we've been hit with some sad news. Stuart Scott of ESPN dies at 49. Um, this is one of the realest anchors slash analysts in the business of sports news, yo. Like, and my, my fiance was telling me, she was watching the, the SB episode where he had his, um, his speech. And, uh, she's basically saying it was like he knew that, that his, that the end was coming. Um, he knew that this would probably be his last ESPYs. And uh, his speech was reflecting it. She said that he was saying things like, you know, live life to the fullest or something similar to that. And it was like he was saying goodbye. And also heard that he pretty much had like uh, four or five surgeries in the course of one or two days. And he also had kidney failure. And it was to the point where his condition was to the point where he might not have made it to the ESPYs. Um, But he did. And through all of this, man, he stayed positive. He stayed positive. There was like a long stretch where he was off ESPN and a lot of people didn't really know why. And then he just came back and he was much, much skinnier. Right. But he still had that flamboyant personality. He stayed positive. And by the way, you know, what I'm saying uh, let's say that he he didn't um, have have such a drastic t- uh, change in his physical stature. We wouldn't know he had cancer because he was so positive to the end. You know, what I'm saying. It's a sad time in sports. Um, if you like to, to cover sports, you like to listen to different analysts, you like to listen to different radio and TV personalities, you like to watch ESPN, this has to affect you. And the reason is because now we left with a bunch of garbage-ass, trash-ass fucking anchors, man, slash analysts, right? I mean... Look, I'm not gonna name them. <laughs> I'm not gonna do them like that. But uh, look at look at these look at a lot of these TV personalities and a lot of these anchors, right? Man, they they don't say what's real. You know what I'm saying? Stuart Scott, granted, he wasn't like motherfucker this and motherfucker that, such as myself. But you take away all the cursing and the anger that I that I do. I mean, he's just he's just as real as I am, if not realer. You know what I'm saying? He said some real shit on camera. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only the only reason why he wasn't cursing or wasn't wasn't angry is because he's being paid by a major network. You know what I'm saying? But he stayed real, and that's that's what lacks the news these days. Sports news, well, you know what I'm saying world news too, but that's a whole another topic. But um, Stephen A. Smith is the closest to a Stuart A. Scott that we got, right? But um, even he's biased, you know what I'm saying, like, let's say, like, a big event, like, All-Star Weekend, and he's done it before, you know, he'll say some shit on ESPN first take, and then during the broadcast, or or at the end of the broadcast, he'll be like, yeah, he'll talk about a certain athlete, and he'll be like, yeah, he's having an after party, which I'll be attending, (laughs) you know what I'm saying, it's like, that's some biased-ass shit, why the fuck are you making it public that you about to go hang out with an athlete that you're supposed to be talking about that you're supposed to be covering in sports you can't pay Stephen A. Smith to say anything bad about LeBron James you can't you can't pay him to say anything bad about him you can't you can't pay him to say anything bad about Kobe Bryant and it's probably because he'd be hanging out with these motherfuckers man and that's what a lot of these analysts that's that's the problem there man like they get paid to not say nothing bad or they're afraid to say something bad because they, they might not be able to cover a certain athlete or they've been covering a certain athlete for so long so their heart is is the, is the is in it, their emotions are in it if they say anything bad about them or they be hanging out with these motherfuckers. They get instant VIP access for every after party that an athlete has so they don't want to be critical of them because they don't want to lose that, that, that VIP access. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen Stephen A. Smith in person. He has hoes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's probably like, yeah, yeah, bitch, I'm Stephen A. Smith. You know, I got VIP access to the LeBron James after party. He don't want to lose that shit. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? He don't want to lose that. So anyway, man, I'm done ranting. I'm I'm very pissed off that that we're left with these whack-ass anchors. I don't watch TV much anyway. I watch very little TV. I do more reading and research than anything else. But when you're covering sports... It's hard to get away from the opinions of these garbage-ass anchors. I mean, you'll see it uh, when you're covering sports. You'll see, like, different articles that are thrown out. 
um, that, you know, this anchor said this, this analyst said that. And, I mean, it fucking, it pisses me off, man, the, some of the shit that these analysts, the propaganda, I should say, that some of these analysts fucking spew, man. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this. I'm going to keep uh, Stuart Scott's family in my prayers. Um, but I wanted to talk on one of the realest analysts slash anchors in the business of sports news. One.